Hello Aries, this is Starbright. I'm here to do a reading on you guys for July the 3rd through the 10th. I am going to use the Psychic Article Deck by John Holland. And then I'm going to use the regular the tarot cards. Everyday tarot. This is not going to resonate for everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. This is going to be for the sun, the moon rising in Venus. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. What messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries for July the 3rd through the 10th? Some of you guys are suffering in silence. And nobody knows that you're suffering in silence. You're trying to balance things out. You're trying to be patient about this. So a lot of you guys are trying to make a decision. You want things to change. Some of you guys are facing your shadow side. You're facing yourself. You see the you yourself and somebody else. Some of you guys want you want the sun. You want to be happy. Some of you guys want to express yourself. You want to be able to express yourself how you really want to uh, express yourself. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Some of you guys have an ending. Oh. With someone that you was committed to. You took a break from this person. You walked away. You're trying to be hopeful about this. You don't know how this person feel about you. This is someone that you had an argument with or a fight. You see this person as your soulmate. But Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra. You want to commit to this person. It took you a long time. But you want to commit to this person. This is someone that you, you plant your seed with this person. Now you want this seed to grow. You want a brand new start. It could be, it could be with a Taurus or someone that you're committed to. That used to be committed to. This person can be in the third party. Or you met this person at work. You want to travel to, uh, to visit. You want to travel to see this person. And you've been waiting. You feel left out in the cold. You're trying to control your emotions. You want to move forward with someone you see you could be with for a long period of time, not worried about money. You holding on to this person. Or you was holding back because of some kind of secret. Tell me more about this high priestess. Tell me more about this high priestess. This is an ex that you was hiding, that you was holding back from. This is someone that you want to move to come of waters. This is someone that could be very controlling. There was some deception going on. There was some manip manipulation going on. Hmm. With a king of pentacles. This is someone you could have been married to. And this is someone you see as an ideal husband or a wife. Not worried about money. You see security with this person. So you're trying to make a decision about this person who had met their financial goal in life. You want to talk to this person. You want to take action. You want to sweep this person out their feet. And you're charging in. You want to pursue this person now. The Queen of Pentacles. This person's um, 
you see this person like nice things around them. This is someone that you had ghost. Now you want to send this person a very, very important message that would like. Could be about money. The Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini. You see this person having a lot of uh, um, people that like them. You see that person very flirty. And you think about the, the good times that you have with this person. You see this person as your empress. This person can be pregnant, very abundant. You have one foot in, one foot out. But you see this person as your sunshine that you want to take a leap of faith with. This is someone that you felt defeated about. The overall energy. Get your overall energy. Mm. Some of you guys are feeling remorse. You're trying to make a decision about someone that you broke their, their heart or that person had broke your heart and led to this tower. Because you was in and out. You want to tell a person the truth or somebody, about someone from your past that you cut out your life, that you've been watching and you didn't trust this person. So you made this, you're trying to make a decision between two people. This is the one that you had a reunion, uh, you, I'm sorry, a reunion with, and you're feeling your repercussions of your actions. You're trying to be patient. Some of you guys were dealing with a Leo and a Libra. You want to balance things out with this person. So you made a decision to work on things with this person. You see this person as your twin flame, and you want to send this person a message with sufficient this cup. Because you feel like this person was a missed opportunity, and you're feeling burdened by this. I said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. All signs are here. If you like my readings, give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for following my channel until next time.